This is the setup of my animation. Instead of the cylinders, I create this stone pile. This here is exactly the result of today's tutorial. Let's start it. First, I just animate this box. That's the all animation. The next step was to select all those little boxes here. You're gonna see what they are need for later on. And just select and link to this main box. So that makes the animation easier. So that's all what it has here. All right, so now the boulder, the rock, um, is just a box. I just give some interesting shape. And then I just put some torus on the corners, just cylinder for secondary animation. And circles with interpolation of eight, but this is gonna change if you need, depend on the dynamics of the rope. Um, so let's go to the type flow. Let's create the hopes first. Just hide this for the second. So we're gonna make a birth. Also, let's speed up and put position object and also shape. I explain each one of them. Let's see geometry. So position object, we're gonna select all the circles. Instead of faces, we put in vertex in order. Uh, here, the birth, we're gonna start all at once. So you see already populated, but is it the right number? We're gonna see. Here we put spheres, low res, and let's increase the diameter by scale. Let's get close here. So 300 is a good number. But see how many spheres is needed. It's not just as much as you want. Otherwise, it will be a problem uh, when we create your hope. So you keep adding until it complete. In this case, will be 108. But if you need more definition, that's the about the steps of the circle. By default, it's eight. Also would work, but for this setup, I like more spheres add physics shape and we're gonna add as a sphere right so now they are becoming physical but need to link them to become a hope add physics bind and the type of joint so as you can see now they are connected and in joint we change the max binding from three to two. And let's also add a spline, spline path. We can create new, and also we change to physics bindings. And then we visualize here in tie splines. Uh, let me hide for a second so you see your problem that it's just all one part, but there is a space. So you go and weld knots in tie splines so now they are hopes but they are falling so let's hold them in place using those boxes for that we use a surface test let's select the boxes and add selected and from distance we use volume inside I will just press Alt X so we can make them uh, X-ray. Otherwise, you can click Object Properties and click See Through. See Through. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what we want to do when they get inside? Let's see the spheres again. We want them to be binded to the boxes. Object Bind. So let's select them again. Add selected and we want to change the dynamics of them so now we see that turn to blue because it's this color for example yellow became yellow yeah so you see that's working the surface test so we want to change the physics to fit switch and change to kinematic 
So the behavior now is that it's attached to the boxes and it's working as should. So let's change the spline here to be as thick as the spheres, right? So we change the radius to match more or less the, uh, the sphere. And we can hide the geometry we don't need. Cool, we have the hoops. So now let's make this big guy work. We create birth object. Let's select all of them, add selected. Now we can hide the object because now it's type flow. Next step, physics shape. Instead of convex, let's display the hull here. We're gonna use compound because that will allow us this kind of connection of uh, two closed objects. In this case, the hopes, splines, and uh, this ring, right? For this setup, it works better with voxel size of two, but you can experiment the pain of the scale and the hope diameter. So if we release it, you see kind of working, but now we need to connect the rings. To connect the rings will be also uh, another bind, but there is a catch and that's the important thing you're going to see here. It's already binding, you see, but the, uh, it's creating a problem when it's binding all the physics object and we don't want this. First we want to kind of joint, we can turn off the swing and the twist because it will be a solid joint and we're gonna use that's the catch not all events but only this event so now it's solidly connected we're gonna solve this kind of issue where the hopes is losing the connection there for that we go to type flow and enable um, different frame one fourth or more because it needs time to calculate the each frame so we'll take a, a little more time to calculate but this is how you solve this kind of problem so now it's working let's collide those guys uh, just for the fun let's select them birth objects next we add fracture brick one i like looks interesting well we need to add them first add a brick fac fracture enable it so now we can hide the object because now again is our type flow object and then we use another physics Simple like that. So let's play, see what happened. Very interesting. There is one small problem here. This is happening because of uh, surface test is continuous. So whenever the particles get inside of the box, it will activate. So for that, we just change the timing. We just change from continuous to on event entry or you can just like click here uh, right click and timing that's fine so let's play again perfect i hope that you learned something today that was useful and if it was uh, I would appreciate if you subscribe now let's have a quick look at my own scene from the rendering this is the setup of my animation instead of the cylinders I create these stones pile the way that I made it just unhide everything the cameras the lights was uh, based on this box that I create this box and then I use this setup. I start on zero with 10,000 particles. I create inside of this volume that is uh, this object, right? Location volume. Then I give a shape of stones, 
physics shape, convex hull, collision with the plane, and then render. It's quite time consuming because of this collision here, but it's quite nice also. And yeah, the rest is quite of the basic. This is the render for the, this is the lights for the rendering. Just a V-Ray light, simple setup, and just a HDR image here on this light, and that's it. So, final view of my setup. Just a quick tip, this property test ID is just to separate the ID for these loops. Uh, one way is just using display data. So you're gonna see. Just let me hide. You're gonna see the ID of each creation object. Birth ID. And then you send those IDs, value 3. Uh, to a different static. So the ID of this boulder is three. In my material editor, I just created three types of colors to apply to type flow. This is the stones. That's ID number one. The, that's the rock ID number two. And this is the metal number three. So that's why in the rocks I put this ID. That's the number one. Here, the ID number two and for the boulder number three and it's here so i separate by property test uh, birth id that's it so thank you again see you next one